the legend you are about to hear is true, only the needle should be changed to protect the record. This is the story of a gramophone record. Think of records and you think of Beatles, Elvis, Rolling Stones, but there's more to it than this. Teenagers today have made the record industry in New Zealand really big business. My assistant Strudelmeyer is going to play a dust-free, surgically clean LP but has never been touched by human hands. This is a busy warehouse in Wellington where daily hundreds of records are dispatched to various shops throughout New Zealand. There are three main warehouses in Wellington, Allied International, Phillips Electrical and the biggest company in New Zealand, HMV. And here's where the life of a record begins. This is a desk where a new Beatles single will begin its production. And over here, Nick decides what LPs will be released in New Zealand. And who are you? Shall we say a mysterious stranger? Are you mad? That's what they're saying. This is a record lover's paradise, HMV's warehouse. And here's the warehouse manager, Noel Bacon. Every record begins at a recording studio, and here Pete Nelson and the castaways cut a new disc. It's what goes on tape that counts, and Brian McElwin adjusts the controls to get the sound just right. The tape is now played, and an acetate cut. All through the stages of record production, it's testing, and more testing. These are the stampers that will be used for pressing, being made by circulating in a mixture of copper sulphate and sodium chloride. It's out to Green and Hall's factory now, and the stampers are ready for pressing. This slab of vinyl will be squeezed into a record by a pressure of 2,000 pounds to the square inch and takes approximately a minute to form into a 12-inch LP. The LP is then trimmed on a trimming machine. It is then inspected minutely before being placed into its cover, ready to be sent to the warehouse. Next time you play an LP, remember a lot of work has gone into making your record the high quality product that it is. In part two of this series, we'll show the disc jockeys and announcers that decide what will be the hits of tomorrow.